Last November, I tried taking a free pallet and turning it into a $600 coffee table like Morley Kurt, and I failed miserably. Mission failed. Instead of one single pine pallet and basic tools, this time, we're using every single pallet I can find and all the tools in the shop. Before we do anything, I don't even know what I'm building yet. We gotta start breaking these things down because we have a lot of them and it's gonna take forever. So keep them as long as possible, joint plane, all that fun stuff. Don't you fail me, bull bar. Maybe we just gotta break one, huh? This is not going well. Hey, that's a good one. Hooray! One. <laughs> it's gonna take so much more time to leave them long that I'm just gonna cut them short. Ready, break. Okay, so I think one of the problems with the previous table was the design. I just went with like a blanket, slat top, bought some legs. It wasn't expensive enough. So I think the only option here is to Google the most expensive coffee table. How original. Something that's still got a little John Malecki flair to it. So like maybe mimic live edge. Yep, this is our girl. 36 by 48 by 18 high and it weighs 750 pounds. It's a veneered live edge piece, which is pretty cool. So now that we have a design that we know looks good and that works, I think I know how I'm gonna do this glue up. We got a bunch of the sticks cut. And what's funny is once you get them laid out, it doesn't really look like that many. And that was probably what, a dozen pallets? We got this nifty little spreader. Should make quick work of this. So Lou and I are gonna lay these out, roll some glue. And our goal here is to build um, 24 inch wide panels. All the panels are dry now. We need to flatten them on each side. So to the planner! Before we get into any glue up, because we're gonna go cutting board style on that sucker, I wanna lay out the size of the table, 24 by 38, decent coffee table size, nothing too enormous. We wanna do like that organic kind of carved shape, because this is gonna dictate our glue up because it's gonna be all end grain. So if I can glue it up, start cutting parts, and then we'll lay them out on here. My original idea for how I was gonna do this is not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is glue this up and then I need more pallets. So to the glue rack, and then I hope a bunch of pallets just show up. In order to make the sides bigger and thicker, I had to leave the pallets wider. So we milled everything that Lou just picked up down and then got it into the clamp rack in order to keep the project moving forward. We got all the big chunks in clamps and this came out of clamps. So it essentially looks just like a big cutting board right now. We're gonna run it through the brand new wide belt sander. This is one of the reasons we got this SOB. We need a name for it though. So leave some names in the comments section. Let's fire this pig up. Oops. basically all we can do until that's dry. So this thing's looking awesome and it's getting me excited because I actually think we're going to be able to sell it and make a couple bucks. Just like this, the week's sponsor gets me fired up, DraftKings. The NFL playoffs are underway and Wild Card Weekend got wild. If you didn't catch anything, it was ridiculous. I was glued to my seat the entire weekend watching all these wild comebacks and these crazy young players chuck the pill around and have ridiculous weekends. Since my hometown team got eliminated, I've been using DraftKings to keep me interested in the games. You see, right now, for new signups, if you spend $5 
and bet on any NFL game going on this weekend, DraftKings will give you 200 bucks. I love the same game parlays. And if you're not familiar, that means you can bet on the over during the game, how many points will be scored, who's gonna win, all at the same time, increase your opportunity to win big. I like to use these, keep me interested in the games. It makes it a lot of fun to watch teams that you typically wouldn't watch. And for me, the opportunity to make a few bucks, I love it. And like I said, because DraftKings loves you guys, if you spend $5 on a bet on any NFL game this weekend, they're gonna give you $200 instantly in your account. And no worries, if you don't have mobile betting in your state, you can still use the DraftKings Fantasy app to get into the action this weekend. So don't miss out on all this awesomeness going on this weekend. Download the DraftKings app, use code Malecki or the link down in the description and get $200 for your $5 bet on the NFL playoffs this weekend. Thank you, DraftKings. Now let's go see if we can make some money with this table. We just got everything out of clamps. We need to flatten these now. Uh, so I'm gonna run the small ones through the planer and then we're gonna get the big ones going on the CNC. Should give us the ability to then mock up the base as is in woodworking. This coffee table keeps getting smaller and smaller. So my initial plan was inset the top, like route a groove into the top and then drop that in and then come back and carve all the outsides. It doesn't look that awful. I think we're gonna have to stain it. I'm leaning towards black. What do you think? Comment, leave one. And then Tyler, what do you think? Yes, all black earth thing. <laughs> Lou, I got a bet for you, come here. The bet is a shot of bourbon. I am definitely taking that bet. Will this break on the seam or on a glue joint? Or excuse me, on a glue joint or in the middle of the wood? Middle of the wood. I guess I'll take seam. Three, two, one. Yeah! Seam! No, what? Bullshit, <laughs> middle of the wood! That's funny, because it's broken both. Oh, it looks like we both- Everybody got drinks! We both gotta do a shot. <laughs> that could not have gone better. Right? <laughs> and then it broke on the seam here, and then in the middle of the wood there. So, the reason you do this is a good glue joint will break in the middle of the wood uh, compared to on the seam here. So obviously, this was a weak glue joint on this part. So. <laughs> Let me, here, we'll get the shot at the end of the day, because I gotta do some power carving, and we don't drink and power tool around here. Couple or nothing. All right, so I got the cuts all disc out. I got the extreme abrasive one. Gonna do initial with that. Then we'll just work our way down, finish her up with this really fine thing. Let's go. So after an hour and 45 minutes of straight carving, I think I got the shape down. I like the way it looks. We gotta sand it still, but it's 10 minutes till five on a Friday and I owe Lou a shot. So I'm gonna go uh, myself off and get to it. Next thing we gotta do is sand this sucker. Uh, so you guys have a great weekend, even though you're watching a video and it's gonna happen right now. It's looking awesome. So we're gonna hit it with some clear coat and then I gotta make a little bit of a platform base for it. I got a cool idea for that. And then we gotta get this thing photographed. So let us spray. So she's finished, the base is on, looking awesome. Now it's time to list it. On the last one, Hundreds of you told me how stupid I was and how bad the photos were, and that's why it didn't sell. So, now we're in my friend's gorgeous home to take real photos, so this thing hopefully sells this time. Check it out. Three days later. We've got a legitimate hit after I, two people tried to scam me on Facebook Marketplace. We've been trying to reach you concerning your car's This is Mark. He's a subscriber, just like you should be a subscriber. She's hiding under here. Are you ready? Enormous reveal. But here, here you go, bud. Check her out. Nice. I sent a picture to my wife and she was like, yeah, go get it. Hell yeah. All That's right. all that really matters, right, that is the is, wife? Yep. So it's actually made out of pallets. Oh. Yes. Wow, okay. I don't know if you saw the video where I took a pallet and then I built a table and tried to sell it. No one bought it. 
So the goal this time was to get someone to actually buy a table that I made out of pallets. Okay. Granted, I think I put like 75 man hours into this table to get it to this point compared to the other one, which was like six. So I'm glad it's going to a good home. Glad yeah, it looks good. I'm excited. So we're, we're building it. a new house and hoping to move in next summer, fall, and this will be going in there, so. That's awesome, man. Your gift for being a fan and being a subscriber, I'm grateful for the, every single one of you. Um, so we'll get it loaded up and get you home. Hopefully the wife likes it as much as you do. Finally, we sold a table we made out of pallets. I feel relieved. Proved you could do it. You just gotta spend a considerable amount of time making it something awesome. Make sure you're a subscriber because we plan on giving more stuff away here in the future. And then go watch this crazy video right here.